In the previous episode, we discussed the Nigerian Bar Association um, through the Assistant National Publicity Secretary, Habib Lawal, calling out and using Lassie C. Elenu as a point of reference to other comedians on representation of lawyers in, his, in their jokes. Um, Habib said the NBA had been tagged and is using Lassie C. as a point of reference to all other comedians to represent the profession in their works appropriately. Now joining us to maybe um, clearly state what he meant or what the position of the NBA is um, Habib Lawal himself. Hello, Habib. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you doing? Very great. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. So a lot of people are of the opinion that um, this is highly unnecessary. So would you want to tell us what the exact position of the NBA is and why that tweet was necessary? Oh, well, the thing is this, uh, it has to be said that we do not condemn La Sisi or any other comedian, and even by extension, Nollywood, for their art. As a matter of fact, they are doing a very good job, and we appreciate that. But we have reservation for the way Amene himself and other comedians, and indeed Nollywood, represents the appearance of lawyers in their works. Now, I've seen a lot of people talking about policemen, soldiers, uh, Navy personnel and all of that, uh, comedians mimicking the way they, they dress or wearing their attire and all of that. This set of people are not paid by government on the way or by the way they appear. But our job is one that thrives on perception. Now, a continuous ridicule or simplistic um, portrayal of lawyers in the art of these comedians or even artists have a way of affecting the perception a potential client has against lawyer. If every day you go on the internet, you open your social media, you watch uh, DSTV or you watch Plus TV, and then all you are seeing is a lawyer that appears the way Lassisi or is it William Suchembu supposedly show a lawyer to be. If for whatever it is worth someday, you meet a young lawyer and you have a brief, there is no way in your subconscious that that portrayal that you have heard would not come to play in you assessing the lawyer. Right. We have to appreciate the fact that comedians and artists have a far-reaching influence in what they portray in their works. Sorry, are you saying, course, hello, are you saying mm -hmm. your potential clients um, do not understand the difference between comedy and, and real reality. life? Now, I can assure you that this is not particularly about Lassisi or other comedians, but it touches even on the way Nollywood portrays lawyers. Now, we have a lot of people that have never even had a courtroom experience before, and their first impression of a lawyer. It's not something that one will be deliberate about, but it's there your subconscious one way or the other. It's what you often see a lawyer to be on <clears throat> African magic or on um, or on Twitter or Instagram as the case may be. Okay, I'll be so the so the point is this you could do your job. For one, we believe that Lassis is very talented and of course all other comedians are talented. But there is nothing stopping them from at least appearing the way lawyers appear in making their art. Okay, Abib, that it doesn't takes me make to my it question. less comical. Okay, are you with now, me, Abib? Now the we okay, I'm here. All right, my question is: um, Are you concerned about the appearance or the manner in which they speak? Is it the appearance, the way they are done, the wig and gown? Of course, it is when they are done the wig and gun. That is our complaint. All right, so the speaking wig, of the, the wig and, gown, and the gun, can you give me a brief history of why lawyers wear the wig and why lawyers wear the gown? Oh, well, 
it is a tradition from the from England okay where we received our common law yeah and of course the law that we practice in Nigeria now mm -hmm. now it is something that is like an insignia of our profession lawyers wear suits on the streets but no lawyer wears wig and gun on the streets okay and our job is a conservative one our profession is a conservative one that places a lot of premium on the way you appear both in court and outside of court now okay. if you must do your art there is no problem at all as a matter of fact we enjoy all the humor but right, so if you must you think, not adorn that wig and gun and the bib and look like a lawyer then please for god's sake look like a lawyer don't you think so that we that... have bigger problems to address than Lassie C. Eleno? Because if we are talking about the wig and gown, now we're wearing yeah. our colonial master's wig, which it, it was something that you said, you rightly said, was brought from England. Now, is that yeah. something we should still adopt? And the gown was actually a morning gown, which the lawyers decided to keep just to show the somber nature of the profession so don't you think that's a problem in itself and we should be addressing such things and try to keep our own originality and authenticity instead of focusing on someone like Lassie CLN who is just putting bread and butter on his table all right all right thank you so much with the greatest respect i beg to disagree with you we have different challenges at the bar but the simplistic way with which you are representing it is as though condemning the EFCC for arresting Yahoo boys or all these fraudsters because we have big politicians taking money from our vaults every day. That's a very simplistic way of looking at this thing. And by the way, until we as a legal profession decide to do away with the wig and gun, which of course is a valid argument, but that is for us to determine Okay, that is for all lawyers in Nigeria to determine argument, where they want right? to be done with it. But you agree Until it's a we valid are argument. Are you there? Yeah, but you agree it's a valid argument. Hello? But you agree it is a valid argument for us to do away with the wig and gown. It, it is a valid argument, but it's valid, valid argument for lawyers, not for non-lawyers. Mm. Okay, my it's final... It's a valid argument for lawyers. Final so question. Until we do away with it. Final then, question here, because we don't have a lot of time. Um, you right. mentioned in your tweets that you can take the necessary, um, you know, action steps. steps and all that. On what grounds would that look like? What would you be charging him for? Or not even just him, because like you said, it's not about La Cici and the bigger picture. So I go and I put something online trying to be funny and I don't represent, you know, the NBA well with the outfit, not even the content now, and then get a million followers and it itches you the wrong way. How would you come and attack me? Like, what, are, what would I be expecting? Oh, well, the thing is that necessary actions include a lot of things. We wish and hope that the persons that we are addressing, the persons that are concerned, would see this and see reasoning with us, that their job doesn't become less humorous or, 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 or lesser in content if they appear the way lawyers appear. That's all. Okay. Um, um, Habib, so if perhaps, for example, La City Eleno um, puts out another video without an effort to look like a lawyer, like you're saying, what should he be expecting? Well, your, your question is hypothetical. Until that happens, I wouldn't know the answer to give. So you, you don't know, you, you just made a threat, actually. I, I can put it that way to say um, you are using La CC as a point of reference to warn other comedians as well to say that they have to represent lawyers appropriately, right? So. Are you saying you did not expect or there is no possibility that um, there will be other comedians that would not listen to that warning? Well, there was no choice. It's an advice to them. And that advice is meant to be taken or not. Mm. Okay. okay. So we'll keep watching and hope that your <laughs> advice is taken. And when it's not, then we'll be watching to see the steps of the NBA as well. Thank you so, so much. It's a pleasure being with you. And have a wonderful day. You too. You too. Okay. Um...
This is interesting, I think. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, uh, he's definitely a good lawyer. I liked how he was evading um, a lot of questions. I wanted, I wanted him to answer how he was going to take those necessary steps. I mean, they were in bold letters on his is Twitter. That, evading questions, is that what makes a person a good lawyer? Well, I mean, you have to be smart enough to do that and not really tie yourself in any angles. You can't hold him for anything that he's just said. That's good. For me, Sha. But I like okay, the fact you, that they are actually considering throwing away the wig and gown. He's not saying they're considering. He said it's a valid argument. Yeah, for him to know that it is a valid he's argument, then it's it. something they thought about or they probably discussed. But I, also like I how think he that if they are considering it, somebody in his position at the NBA would not even put out this tweet at all because that would now not be the thing to represent your well, people. Well, he's telling you that's a simplistic answer now that, because you asked that question as well and he's saying, yeah, but just because we have a bigger problem doesn't mean that the small problems can also be addressed. So just because I'm taking the 419 boys mm. um, doesn't mean that you should mock that because we need to catch the bigger fish that's mm. on top. That's the answer to I think to we should get question. members of his association to get what I don't think a lot of politicians made enough money as Osh Poppy do. 